make a date with Tyra today at 3. How's school? Good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What's your favorite class? History. Really? Yeah, we just learned about the Boston Tea Party. Mm -hmm. And I was telling him about the Patriots, how they dumped the tea into the harbor. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> he picked up Emily's teacup and poured it on the ground. Oh, no. He's pretty messy. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll just have to teach him not to be so messy when I get home. <laughs> Carly, I think it's time for your children to be leaving. Don't you? Carly, it's okay, are you... Manny had a stack of explosives. He must have wired the place. It's connected to a remote detonator. And if the charges are linked? If the charges are linked, there'll be a chain reaction. This whole mountain could cave in. I have to disarm it and find the others. No, Jason, it's impossible. Manny had a whole sack of explosives. There's no way you're going to find them all in time. Worst is over. Rescue team's gonna get us out of here real soon. What about Carly? Jason's gonna find her. When you see her, will you give her a message for me? Will you tell her? But I really hope she can forgive me. And tell her that she's the luckiest woman in the world. Everybody all right? Get close. <laughs> okay. Rescue team's here. We're gonna get us out. Reese? She's not breathing! You guys, you promised me that you're gonna come back and visit really, really soon, okay? Yeah. This has been great. Yes, we are. It really has. You feeling better? I feel so much better. I do. <laughs> Seeing you guys has given me the strength to get better and to come home sooner. I promise. Good. <laughs> hey, make sure he doesn't spill any more tea. <laughs> I'll try, I'll try. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Come on. Come on, Morgan. Come on. Okay. I meant what I said. I'm going home soon. How are you feeling, Ivan? Uh, not bad. My arm's not broken, so I guess the gunshot didn't break any bones. That sounds like a doctor's answer. Okay, I admit it hurts really bad. The medevac will take you back in 20 minutes. We'll see you there. Um, my family's freaking out really bad that Emily's still in the tunnel. You know, the rescue workers are bringing up survivors as we speak, so I'm sure she's going to be okay. I know. Ellen and Monica are at the hospital right now. They're taking care of the crash victims, and they want me to stay here and call them with updates. Matt, the chopper's ready. So we'll see you at the hospital. Okay. I'll be there soon. Don't worry about me. Just take care of the others. Okay. All right. to escape? Go ahead. Give me a reason to shoot you. Manny kept saying that no one would get out of here alive, and this is obviously what he meant. I think that you and I have to go back and tell somebody the This looks the like others, it's triggered by is... a radio signal, a walkie-talkie, or a cell phone can set these off. We have to retrace Manny's steps. We've got to disarm these bombs. This whole place could cave in.
I don't know what the hell happened. She, just, she stopped reading. I don't know. I'm sorry. She's gone. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Look at his checks. She ah. says she follows my finger with her eyes. You're kidding. Really? Thank you. It's okay. okay. Here we go. Now put your finger down so she doesn't go cross eyed. <laughs> hey, you ready? Watch, watch. <laughs> You're making her fall asleep. Alright. Newborns are supposed to sleep a lot, aren't they? Didn't see you getting her to sleep. Oh, alright. I admit it. Got the magic touch. Um, Mommy wouldn't eat before. Would you like to try to feed her? I think she's just falling asleep. Well, she may rest better on a full stomach. Okay. Here's the bottle. Hey. Hey. That's enough, Molly. Huh? Well, I know you must be hungry. Just a little yeah, bit. You're a wonderful mother, you know. Carly, I know you want to encourage your sons by telling them you'll be home soon, but that just isn't the case. But I'm feeling better. And I don't feel helpless, and I'm not scared. You still need to make considerable progress toward recovery before we can consider even temporary leaves. Carly, Michael and Morgan are on their way home with Leticia. Thank you. Thank you. Seeing my children has made me feel better than I have in weeks. It has, and I'm going to continue to see my boys whenever I want. You did the right thing by bringing them here. You know exactly what I needed. Thank you. Ask you not to bring guests without my permission. You heard Carly. She said she felt better after seeing her sons. I don't doubt that Carly loves her sons. Unfortunately, she's also fixated on them. Oh, I think that's an overstatement. She's a devoted mother. Who's obsessed with maintaining her ideal family unit, including marriage to Sonny. We have to build up Carly's perception of herself as an individual before we can reintroduce her to the rest of her family and her friends. So in order for Carly to make a full recovery, she needs to figure out who she is. We made a lot of promises in this tunnel, you know. Mm-hmm. Now, with our rescue imminent, we can make good on those promises and honor them. Maybe we should free ourselves from this godforsaken mountain before we plan our future. That isn't the sound of backpedaling as fast as we can, is it? Hell no. Oh, okay. Where are those firemen? I mean, my God, oh, they come, they I bring see. the stretcher, so and they just leave me. So, basically, you admitted that we would have a future together because you thought that we wouldn't have Okay, one. stop talking now. I've just had a C-section and I'm sutured together by a fishing line. I can't have any more deep conversations. No, I just want to make sure that when you said that you loved, I think, and, and needed me, that you actually did mean it. I said I loved, needed, and wanted you. Oh, and I me. meant all three of those things. Okay. Not afraid of being rejected? Mm-mm. You try and stay open? Mm -hmm. You're not going to jump back in defensive position? Mm -hmm. Good. Because we need each other, Alexis. And Molly needs us, too. Mm -hmm. Hey, Justice, how's, how's Molly? Has she been to the hospital? Yes, a uh, lady checked Molly out at the rescue site and said she was doing fine. Mm -hmm. Your daughter's waiting for you at the hospital, and uh, so priority one is to get you out of here as soon as possible. Yeah. Thank you. Let's get her move on right there. Mm -hmm. Here we go. One, two, three. Mm. Hey, are you getting another headache? I'm fine. Fine. Maybe Robin's medicine is working. Well, it's not going to matter if I don't get these bombs diffused. He ran into Maddie a few times. You remember where? Yeah, the first place was back at the commuter train. Okay, we're going to retrace your steps as soon as I'm done. Oh, I don't know, Jason. I kind of feel like we're playing Russian roulette or something. Maddie's got the detonator and he can set it off at any time, which lucky, means that we could really... He didn't survive the trip out and that bastard's lying dead somewhere. You threaten me. An injured man. That's police brutality. You shot my niece. That's what she gets for being so cozy with son. <laughs> you are a psycho freak and you're gonna pay for what you did to Robert. Take it easy, Commissioner. 
This man needs immediate surgery. You shot my unarmed niece. He's still my patient, and he still needs medical care. I'm sorry, but your personal feelings have no place here. <laughs> I thought Reese had a cracked rib. I, I okay. told her to stay Look, listen, still. That listen, it listen, Alexis is here. We need to get her and Max out of here, okay? Come on. Yeah, okay. <coughs> Sorry. What about Reese? It's too late. She's dead. You're so relaxed and easy with her. Oh, look how adorable she is. You're, You're natural. You know that? If you had seen me with Morgan, you would have thought I was a disaster. I mean, <laughs> it took me a week just to get the hang of feeding him and holding him. Oh, I was so terrified I was going to hurt his little neck or head. It's like holding eggshells. <laughs> well, I suppose that will be me in a few months. Mm, that'll be terrific, Jax. I'll learn as I go. There. You got it to drink. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, excellent. I'll take her to the nursery now. Um, but do you, do you think I could hold her a little longer? I mean, she loves being held and like she's asleep. You know, her, her mother entrusted us with her in the tunnel. So I'm, I'm sure she wouldn't mind if we held on to her for a little bit longer. I suppose we can make an exception now. Thank you. Dr. Kim says you need to define yourself as an individual before you can go home. Dr. Kim just wants me to stay here so we can keep taking Sonny's money. Oh, no, think about it, Carly. Taking care of your children is a big responsibility. You need to know that you're strong enough to handle it. I will get strength when I'm with Sonny and the boys. The doctors think that Sonny is the reason that you lost touch with reality okay. in the first place. I know you don't want me going back to Sonny. I just okay, want I what's that. best for you, Carly. Sonny is a destructive person in your life. He runs you down, demeans you, puts his own needs in front of yours. I get that he has flaws, but he's also wonderful. Well, I know there's great love between you, but there's also great pain. And you need to be honest about that, and you need to deal with it. Or you're never going to get better. I'll get better when I remember the love. being lifted up. Isn't that forgiveness? No. Well, I, I guess it's a part of it. Because that's what, that's what I felt when I looked at the back of the church and I saw you standing there. Then again, outside, when I held you in my arms, you were, you were, you were alive, you were real. You were back. I mean, isn't that forgiveness? A, 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 like a weight being lifted up. I think what you're describing, a weight being lifted off, I think it's relief. You know, it's like what I felt for you that Christmas that you were shot on the steps of the PCPD. And I thought I lost you, but then you came back and I felt like a weight had been lifted off. Because you, who I absolutely loved, you'd survived. And it's a really strong emotion, but it's not forgiveness, you know. What is it then? It's when you, it's when you look at someone and you see them, you know. Not all the things that they've done wrong. It's when you can be in the moment with someone and then I think about all the things that they did to hurt you. All the things that they still might do to hurt you. Letting go. Yeah, it's letting go. Do you think you can do that, Sonny? How do you? Do you think that you can look at me and that you can see me and see what's in my heart and not all the things that I've done wrong because you know if you can't then um 
I don't know what we're gonna do, and I don't really see many places for us to go. Be all right. Okay. I'll get you here. Let's get out of here, okay? Thank you. I'm so sorry. Yeah, me too. It's okay. Go ahead. I'll, I'll, I'll catch up. Hey. How you doing here, kid? I just want to see my girls. I know. I know. Molly's a good man. It suits her. Yes, it does. I'm going to come see you and Molly at the hospital. I can't wait. Okay, okay. You want to spend a moment alone with her? Yeah, thanks. You're gone. You deserve so much better, Reese. From life. From everybody around you. You take care, partner. I thought she was going to be all right. I thought she was. What, what happened? I don't know. Rick, Rick, you need to go to the hospital to see your baby. You did the best you could. I, I, I don't know what went wrong. I must have, you know, missed something when when I examined her. Maybe if I would have just watched her a little bit more. Listen closely. to me, Emily. Emily, you did the best you could. You saved lives down here. I should have you asked Robin people. to examine her. Maybe she would have seen something that I okay, missed. Can we talk. We're going to talk about this later. Right now, you need to get out of here. Okay. Okay. But what about you? I haven't seen any bombs. Maybe he didn't set as many no, no, as I no, thought. No, he wouldn't just set one. This guy's a psycho, but he's not stupid. He had me and Sonny trapped down here. He wanted to make sure that we did not survive. All right, well, they, I know they carried him out by now, so he's, he's either dead or he lost the detonator. Which one is it? I, that gives us a little more time. Hey. Hey. They found more survivors. They're bringing them out now. Dylan, that's great. Have you heard anything about Emily? Not so far. Dylan, listen, my dad told me to bring up injured passengers first. This could be a great sign that she's okay. I'm gonna go help look for her. Okay. Carly! If you're hiding, it's safe to come out. Mandy can't hurt you. Jason, either she's not here or she doesn't believe well, she's you. She's gotta trust me on some level. She pulled me out of the water, right? Okay. Well, we either we either look for Carly or the bomb, okay? Both. One or the other. Both. Carly's scared. She's not thinking clearly. We just need to keep looking. Jason. What? Wouldn't let me near the tunnel. Give me the whole for your own safety speech. Dylan, I know that this is frustrating, just having to wait around and things, but Emily's gonna be okay. What? What is this? I don't know. I just found it. Weird. Lorenzo doesn't understand. No one does, except Sonny and me. We do fight a lot. We argue, say and do things to hurt each other. 
But underneath it all is this incredible love that just keeps going. No matter what else happens. I think in a strange way, our fighting ties us even closer together. I went to see Alcazar. Really? Yeah, he told me. We were supposed to go to dinner. Don't start with me, Carl. You walked out on me. And you went running to Alcazar. All that talk about how much you love me and that we're married, I was gone, what, five seconds? And you're all over Alcazar? Oh, yeah, hot, sexy Carly. Nine months pregnant with your baby and I want to get all over Alcazar? You want to be with him? You want to stay with him? Is that what you want? I want to be with you. What? I love you, but you don't seem to understand well, that. Well, you got a strange way of showing it, Carly. And how is your way any better, huh? How is loving me leaving me and Michael? How is don't that? Don't bring Michael into this. Well, he's in it. He's in it. And you're deserting both of us. Oh, am I? Yeah? How many times have you lied and gone to Alcazar? How many times have you lied that I don't even know about? Like what happened on that yacht? What did you guys do on the yacht? Did you have fun on the yacht? Nothing happened on the yacht. Nothing happened. Nothing happened on the yacht, and I have done nothing with Alcazar but talk to him. And you're the one who lied tonight, okay? So let's get that straight. You said we were going to dinner. I go upstairs and you vanish. You vanish. Mm -hmm. You are so selfish. You are so selfish. No one's shut pain up. matters. I don't want to hear it anymore. It's all sunny shut up. all the time. No, you know what? You shut up. You shut up. You don't want to lose me, so you push me away. You don't want to love me, so you make me wrong all the time. Shut up! Did I misunderstand? Did you not go to Alcazar? Did you not call my enemy to meet with him? Did you not meet with him last week? Put your mouth on his mouth to save his life. Did you not do that? Stop it. You just stop it. I told you Carly's down here somewhere. Jason is here. We're looking for her. I'm, gonna, I'm, not, I'm not gonna leave here until I find her. I'll go with the others then. Can you make sure that they, uh, they treat Reese with respect? I'm so sorry. This wasn't supposed to happen. Reese wasn't supposed to die. Hey, you're set to go? She just said that, that Jackson Courtney have, have mom, but you're watching out for her and that she's had her first one. Great. How's mommy? I want to go home. Yeah. All right, Alexis, we are going to get you to the hospital right now. Doctor? Over there. It's some kind of remote. A kind of car alarm, maybe? No, it's... It's not a car alarm. It's too high tech for that. Maybe it's something that the rescue workers are using. Now, I could just press the button and when something activates, I'll know what it goes with. Some people who were trapped with Emily just made it out. Really? Yeah, maybe the noise is. You must be thirsty. Do you want me to get you some water? I'm okay. Thank you. I'm taking your HIV meds. Yes, it's Jason that I'm worried about. His condition is still serious. We need to get him back here so we can continue his treatment. Wait, is he still in the tunnel? Yeah, I just don't know where. You know, we should contact the rescue workers and make sure they know he needs to get back here as soon as possible. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You need to fill out some paperwork. I'll do that. I'll do that for you. You just sit over there and rest, okay? Okay. Thank you. I'm really glad that you're home. I've missed you a lot. Oh, so Uncle Matt can fuss over me and he won't bother you so much? <laughs> oh, that's a nice fantasy, but I don't think that's going to happen. You're all grown up now and a brilliant doctor. To Mac, you're like the ultimate role model. You know, it would help me out if you were to get back to Jason. Where did that come from? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm dating an undercover cop that Mac doesn't exactly approve of. I mean, nobody's ever going to be safe enough or responsible enough for you, me, or Georgie. But, you know, if you were to get back together with Jason, then that might... Maxie, 
I hate to break it to you, but that's not gonna happen. Wait, okay, just, just hear me out for one right. second. We all know that you still care about Jason. I mean, you came all the way from Paris to treat him. So, if while you were treating him, you guys just happened to fall back in love with each other, not only would that be incredibly romantic, but it would be a huge favor for George and me. I mean, Mac would be so busy disapproving of Jason that Jesse and Dylan would look good by comparison. Well, even though that is a brilliant plan, there's only one small problem. Jason is in love with Sam. Man, he has to be dead. Don't you think? I mean, how could he survive that thing that you shoved in his back? No, I'm not gonna believe it until I have proof. The rescue team came. Is everyone out? Everybody, uh... Reese died before they got there. Sonny. I'm sorry. I'm gonna help you find Carly to sign her. Okay. No, not yet. We haven't been able to cover much ground. Okay. Manny wired this place to explode wherever he is. He's got the detonator. You and Sam need to go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look for Carly. No, that's not gonna work. Robin, hey. Hey. Well, Alexis is in surgery. The, uh, the doctors tell me that there's really nothing to worry about. I'm sure. They just have to check the incision and resuture it. I can't thank you enough for everything you did in the tunnel. Screw job. Mm. Robin, you helped save the lives of Alexis and uh, our baby girl. I'm not going to forget that. You're giving me far too much credit. But I'll tell you, I'll, I'll never forget it either. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes. Oh. Hey, Rick, I, uh, I heard that your family got out of the train wreck. That's good. Any chance that your miserable brother wasn't so lucky? No, I'm sorry to disappoint you, Duran. The only person who didn't get out was Reese. Oh, what are you saying? Reese Marshall is dead. Yeah, she was on her way out of town. She was going to go make a fresh start away from me and Sonny and our messed up lives. She almost made it, too, except for the fact that there was this little train wreck that almost killed me and Alexis and our baby daughter. A lot of other innocent people. And I come to find out recently that it may have been caused by Manny Ruiz. No, 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 there's nothing definitive yet. Well, he escaped while he's being extradited to Hawaii, right? Well, well, slow down. Wait, wait, you 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 accusing me here? You think I was the extradition, for this? didn't you, Durant? You couldn't risk him to stand a trial here in Port Charles because he might have exposed that little deal that you had with his hey, brother Javier. Rick, you want to slow down? You're being a little emotional here. I know that you could have continued the search for Manny Ruiz, but you chose to believe that he was dead because it was easier, because it was cleaner, and because Stop it suited right. your Stop. agenda. Way to go, Durant. You do the DA's office proud. If Manny Ruiz did cause this train wreck, you helped him kill Reese. Everything you did for me, okay? Uh, no. Uh, I'm, I'm not a doctor. Robin's going to do the C-section. I know. I know. It's okay. It's okay. It's not your fault. I just you know? don't I know. understand. It's okay. Hey, there you are. The family's going to be ecstatic when they find out you're okay. I hope they haven't been bothering you with constant news updates. Me? No. No, only 20 calls on my cell phone in the past. <laughs> um, is Jason coming out? I'm sure they're going to ask me about it. Uh, Jason's still down there. I, I'm... I'm not sure when he's going to find his way out. Okay, I'm going to defuse the rest of these bombs. What if you collapse or have another seizure? Robin's medicine's working. We don't know where Carly is. We don't know if she's going to make it out, okay? Michael and Morgan need at least one of their parents. You cannot orphan them. You need to go. All right, take care of yourself. I will. Sam, you go with him. No. I want you to go with him. No, Jason, I am not leaving you. No. Do you love me? Yes. Then you need to go. Sam. No. Come on. No. Come on. Jason. No. Jason, stop it. No.
I'm sorry, you can't go in right now. I need to question Ruiz. Well, it's too soon. He barely made it through surgery. He's not able to talk yet. The man may have caused the Glencoe tunnel crash. I'll find a way to get my answers. Excuse me. I can't stop loving Sonny. I know he still loves me. No matter what happens between us or how hard we try to move on, we can't let go. We just can't. I know you're worried about Christina, and I am too. And this might not be such a great time to talk about this, but I really need to tell you what and why it, it happened. Do you think you can listen to me, please? Yeah. Alexis told me about Christina the night of the fire. You already know that. And she begged me, I mean, she begged me not to say anything. What was I supposed to do, Sonny? I mean, think about where we were. Think about our lives at that time. You were with Sam. And you wouldn't let me anywhere near the boys. And we were on the verge of a custody battle. So that's why Alexis agreed to represent you because of Christina? I blackmailed her. Yeah, absolutely. But I protected you even then because I wouldn't let her tear you apart on the stand. I'll always appreciate that. I wanted to tell you about Christina so many times. I did, but uh, Alexis begged me, and she swore. Sonny, she swore. Mm. Look, she swore that she was going to tear you apart, and she was going to make you out to be an unfit father. And if that didn't work, she was going to take Christina and disappear. I didn't want the stress of a custody battle. I didn't want to put that on our family. Did you think I would never find out? You know, I just... If Alexis found another donor, I don't know. I... Maybe I should have told you. But I didn't. I didn't tell you, and I made a choice, and now I'm going to have to live with the consequences. Sonny, I have forgiven you you so much so much more than any woman ever would this isn't about forgiveness we we see the world in different ways i'm not saying i'm right i'm not saying i'm wrong it's just who we are You kept that secret from me because it made sense to you. It's how you think. I'm not asking you to change. You shouldn't have to, but I'm not going to change either. It's what the lawyers call irreconcilable difference. We're over. We have to be because if we keep going, is gonna lose our mind. We gotta get off this sick, sad train before we break. Can you believe it? I'm actually teary-eyed. 
Molly so. brought out your uh, maternal instincts. Uh, yeah, well, it seems like everything does these days. Mm. Looking through baby magazines. Gosh, you should see me looking at cribs the other day. <laughs> you know, in a few short months, you'll be holding our baby. You can pour all your love and affection into him. Or her. I can't wait. Hey, I brought a couple of visitors to see you. Hi. Yeah. Hi, sweetie. Okay. Okay, mommy, quick. Oh, good, good, good. Right there. there you go. Mm. Okay, all right. Watch, watch yourself. Love huh? you, love you. Pretty, isn't she? Yeah. 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 Mommy and I have been talking about how Molly is really lucky to have a big sister like you, huh? Yeah. Oh, you know what we're gonna do? You know what we're gonna do, sweetie? In about a month, when she's a little bit bigger, we're gonna go to the zoo and we're gonna see the giraffes and the zebras and you can tell her all about them, okay? Okay. okay. Good job. I love you, honey. <laughs> Waiting to take us to the hospital. Grace told me that she had a pain in her side and shortness of breath, and I assumed it was a crack. So I swear, but it must have been a punctured lung. It's not your fault. Okay? I could have saved her. Nicholas, all I had to do was get something sharp, like, like a ballpoint pen, even, and just stick it in her side and relieve the pressure. But I, I couldn't figure it out. I said, I let her come. Sonny, Sonny. Who else is down in the tunnel? Just Jason Bain. Why did the tunnels to explode? You gotta get your people out of there now, Mac. Barry! Evac the crews out of the tunnel. ASAP! What happened to Manny? He's been medevaced back to the hospital. He must have he must have brought up the detonator. Well, if he's got the detonator, it's out of range, Sonny. No, Mac, wait, wait. Wait! for scenes from the next General Hospital. Thursday, watch ABC Daytime's Fun in the Sun Tour during your favorite soaps. Stars from All My Children, One Life to Live, and General Hospital are kicking it with the fans in Dallas. Now you can get an inside look at the best Fun in the Sun Tour yet, Texas style, beginning Thursday on ABC Daytime. On the next General Hospital. How are you doing? I need to see Sunny. So Jason stayed behind and looked for Carly for nothing. Is that what you're telling me? We need to get more workers. I yeah. have to find Jason. I'm gonna go see how I can help. <laughs> you're saying it's over between us. 